So the next one I want to take a look at is this right here. So moving from fraction to decimal or decimal to fraction. So moving from fraction to decimal is very simple. It just has to do with division. So let's talk about terms. When you look at a fraction, you have a term that is on the top, which is called a numerator, and the term on the bottom, which is down, that's how I always remember, is the denominator. So in order to divide this number, this fraction, and to come up with a decimal, we're going to read the division problem from top to bottom. So the numerator divided by the denominator, three divided by five. And you can pretend that this little symbol here is a division and read it just like you would a book from top to bottom, three divided by five. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna say, okay, this is three and I'm gonna divide it by five, divide five into it. And then I'm going to do this division problem. So does five go into three? No, it doesn't. So I'm gonna put my decimal here, I'm gonna add a zero. Does five go into 30? Yes, it does, it goes in six times, right? So six times five is 30. And if I subtract those two, then I find out that five has gone into 30 perfectly six times. So now I have my decimal, 0.6, okay? So moving from fraction to decimal, it's just a division problem. And you read the division problem from top, top to bottom. Going in the other direction from decimal to fraction, I use the little tip or the trick over units. So this number right here will go on the top in the numerator of your fraction. So I'm gonna go ahead and translate that over. And then it's gonna be over units. Now, what does over units mean? Over units means you have to know your units here. And you're going to use those units to tell you what goes down here on the bottom of your fraction. So look at the final digit in your decimal number. My final digit is five, and I wanna know what units place my five is in. So you know when you're looking at a whole number, you have the ones units, the tens units, and then you can go on to the hundreds and the thousands. Now when we're going in this direction from the decimal, we've got our tenths units, our one hundredths units, our one thousandths units, and so on. This is in my one hundredths units. So I'm going to put a 100 down here on the bottom. And to make it even easier, all you have to remember is look and see how many digits you have here after the decimal. Here I have two. So it's going to be one with two zeros following it. So over units conversion from decimal to fraction just means you take whatever is here after the decimal and you put it up on top. And then on the bottom, you put the number of units. So 100 is going to my, be my units for that. 